kind of a late game, a goal there. Mm -hmm. um, it seemed like you guys were having a hard time breaking down their defense for a while until Patrick came on and then his speed kind of helped with that. Is, yep. Um, I assume that's why he was brought on to help break down that. Effort. Yeah, so I mean, this game was always going to be. A, a tricky game because first of all Charleston are a good team and they've you know, know they know how to pick up points and how to win games in this league they're always in the playoffs they're always up there so it was always going to be a tough game but it was also hard coming off a midweek game you know we've been kind of unfortunate in the sense that almost all of our home games have been off after two days of recovery and so we've maybe not been as fly, you know coming out flying um, and obviously Wednesday we were almost the whole game with 10 men so that was quite tough but we we talked about it before the game we talked about it again at half time that it was really important that we we got a goal <laughs> you know because at home at, in this stadium in this building uh, we haven't had one of our players put the ball in the back of the net yet so it was really important even if it meant risking losing a goal we had to had to go for it so um, we made the change at half time um, and I thought you know, Pasha really kept going. It wasn't quite quite going his way. He wasn't quite finding his man at times. But then he came up with a big goal, and I'm really, really happy that that he got that. Obviously, for the team and for our fans and for everybody involved and for the win. But I'm really happy for him because he's he's a quality player, and he just needs a little bit more of those things to go his way. And you'll see his confidence grow and grow and grow. And he's such a talented player. So I'm really, really happy and. Um, you know, the whole team deserved it. What, what work ethic, what determination to keep going. It was another clean sheet. Um, you know, we've, we've been doing well on that front and uh, that, that really helped us too. So there wasn't anything with Walker being injured or anything? No, not at all. It was just really a tactical change. And it was also, obviously, you've got to remember, Kenny's not long come from a, an operation where he was out for a, few, a number of weeks and he just had those two days to recover. And, and I thought first, uh, Sort of the last 25 minutes of the half, I thought he actually did very well for us, but it was more just that tactical change to, to give a different look, and thankfully it worked out. Coach, you talked about the defensive effort and how well the team's been doing defensively, but mm -hmm. you also spoke about how the offense has kind of not really clicked. How do you start scoring more at home? How do we put more in the net? Yeah, you're, you're um, right. I mean, I think that it's one of those things. I, th I do feel that we've, as I said, been a little unfortunate in the two-day recoveries because the, the attack and play requires energy and, and like explosiveness and uh, dynamism. And I think sometimes when you're in a little bit of lethargy, both teams today were, and they didn't really create anything. And so it, it's just kind of like that. And we've had that a little bit. But what's been important with this team is we've had a little bit of adversity early in the season. We've had red cards twice in the first 20 minutes. We've come into home games with only two days recovery, but we've still been still been picking up points. We've still been winning games and we've still been coming out in good position. So I think the offense will click. I think guys will start scoring. I think that we've got real quality players. They're, they're doing well. They're not hiding. They're putting themselves in positions where they might miss, but those misses will start going in. And, and as we keep at teams and keep on top of them, then that's going to start flowing. And if we keep defending as we are, then that's going to be a great uh, combination for us. With so many games in such a short stretch, how do you keep guys fresh? How do you keep the team going so you can eventually get that energy? <clears throat> well, one of the things is you, um, you you really work hard on your fitness early in the season and you really work hard on your fitness whenever there's a, a long extended break so that when you do come to these spells and your team's recovering quick. Now, we've done that really well, especially if you look at it, those two games where we played with 10 men almost the entire game, not many teams could do that and recover and then get, pick up more points or pick up a win. So I think that we're, we're on track, we're doing well. Um, always people want more goals and people want more wins and all that. But we're, uh, what, started the season, first 10 games, 6-2-2, two and two, maybe six clean sheets. Um, we've still scored quite a few goals, um, not as many at home as we, w we would like. But that's going to come. It's going to come. And I'm, I'm excited about the, the rest of the season. First time seeing Lucas Ferris at the field this evening. Thoughts on his performance overall? Really good, very good. I don't think he put a foot wrong. And uh, we wanted to give him time to acclimatise to being in, in the US, learning more of the language, seeing more about how we play. But the thing is, people don't really realise this, but Lucas uh, has played almost his whole career at Sao Paulo, which is probably the, the biggest, most successful, best club in the whole of South America. Um, he's played with guys who are like Champions League playing in the Champions League final in a few days. You know, that's who he grew up with. He's played on the national team for Brazil, all these youth teams. And he was last playing in the Portuguese first division when he picked up an injury. What he needs is games. He needs a chance to get a rhythm. And if he does that, 
he's a guy who can go on and really be a top player. So it's really nice to see him doing well. Um, he's been waiting patiently for his chance, and uh, tonight he did it. He took it. Something not related necessarily to tonight's game, but um, Alex Cronalli. Uh -huh. um, he's not in the 18. Wasn't on the 18 on Wednesday. Either. Yeah. Is that an injury too, or is that just? Just no, I believe he's in 18 for Columbus. Oh, okay. Yeah, so he came in, he's done really well for us. They've had some, like quite a lot of injuries in their back line, and so they needed him to play. Probably he wouldn't have played in the Open Cup for us anyway, uh, but all being well, he'll be back with us, and I think he's already uh, improved by, by being here. He's gotten game time, and that's probably something that Columbus will want to continue. So, um, we'll, you know, we're, for, we're very fortunate. We've got a lot of other good players, uh, but Alex is certainly another one if we can have him involved. With that being said, I've noticed that Carl Wiemann's been taking Cognelli's position. Mm -hmm. um, how do you think Carl's been doing since taking over that role as the main center? Well, I think we've had a clean sheet in every game, <laughs> I think. So he's done really well. And we know how good he is. I mean, he was here last year, and uh, he's, he's quality. He's a competitor, very good defender, getting better and better on the ball, growing more and more in confidence. So he, he's very good. As you know, what Mitch Osman, who we've not seen much of, he is too. So we're we're very lucky to have all the players that we have, and if they if we can just keep going, building it, building it, building the confidence, the fans will start to see the ball going in the back of the net more. Okay. Thanks, coach. Thank you. All right, team. You're man of the hour. All right, man. All right. Uh, we're saying, you ready, John? Yes, sir. All right. You were saying off camera just to. Just how much energy you had expended this past week uh, between Wednesday's full 90 and tonight. Just talk about the energy level out there um, from what you saw kind of starting the game and what you were able to bring into the game. Half. Yeah, I mean, guys were a little lethargic. I mean, can't really blame them for what we had to go through this week. Um, but basically, it was, a, it was an opportunity to kind of take, um, take advantage of the other team who also had that mid, uh, midweek break. Uh, sorry, midweek break, midweek game. And uh, basically, I just tried to get as much energy as I could and push 45 minutes. And that you did with uh, plenty of forays towards goal before the game went early. Um, just talk about the, the opportunities you had out there uh, were able to create. They seem to be pretty good concentrated effort to get you the ball and trying to make things happen. What are you asking again, sorry? <laughs> <laughs> talk a little bit about the opportunities the I created. Opportunities you created. I was just basically I'm I'm a very forward minded person and um my my game is assisting my forwards. So basically my job was just go out there, get the ball, turn, and start running at people. And that's basically what I did and I got a few balls in the box, tried to get a few opportunities and luckily um got a goal out of it. So I mean it's it's a job well done for the team and I'm glad I could help the team and the guys who put in a lot of effort this week and be able to get away with three points for the team. Basically, kind of reiterating, but you were brought on at 45 minute mark to put some energy into that uh, attack. Mm -hmm. It seemed like it was kind of stagnant in the, the middle third, just or middle half, couldn't quite get there. Um, given that you were coming in with 90 on Thursday, 10 men down, knowing that you're going to have to be the one that has to put that extra energy in, how do you, how do you, uh, uh, Get that energy. Get that energy up to that point. Well, you know when you, it's a bit of a mind game at the same point as if you were to start the game. You know, and yeah, you, you're thinking you have 90 minutes to play, and you know you kind of have to pace yourself through the game. And basically at halftime, I know I got 45 minutes to push myself and give what I have for the team. And basically it was just like push yourself for 45 minutes. It's not as long as 90, and go from there and see what happens. See what you can do. Is there a message at halftime, um, perhaps with? the lack of goals that have been scored at home so far this year. Um, would the Coach Reddy have any extra message message for you guys uh, to, to try to, to maybe leave a little to abandon and push that goal across, win, lose, draw, whatever it's over? I think it's just basically a matter of time for us guys. You know, everybody's starting to get comfortable. You know, we've had how many games to start off the season. We're not even I think we're maybe a third done so far of the season. You know, you, you have forwards that have proven goal scorers, um, some that are on the bench even, some that aren't even in the 18. So I think it's just a matter of time before guys start finding their confidence, finding the back of the net, and I don't think scoring goals is going to be a problem. Just how big is this win tonight for you guys? 
It's huge after coming off the Wednesday midweek game and all the guys putting in a really hard shift and tonight putting in that hard shift. So now we can go into next week, have a good recovery time, and get ourselves ready for the next home game. Tyler, before you scored, uh, you were playing a lot of balls. You were going on a lot of runs down that left flank. And you were looking kind of frustrated because nothing was really coming off before the goal. What do you do when nothing's working? What's your mindset? Just keep pushing? Don't change because eventually one out of ten will create a goal. It's zero zero, so everything's in everything's in in your hands. So basically, you know, if I go ten times, go nine times, and I miss, but I go for the tenth time, and we get a goal, then it's the job done. So I basically need to stick to what I do and go from there. Thank you very much. Thanks, Thanks guys.